how to process uh, an image from on civil using Starnet. Uh, first, you have to download Starnet, go to Google and press uh, write Starnet download and go to this website and uh, go at the bottom to command line tool and download this. Now, I already downloaded mine, so I'm not going to download it again. Then go to downloads and you will find it's, it will be a zip file I extracted. Mine is already extracted, so I'm not going to extract it again. And uh, this is the Starnet file. Now, open serial. You can download serial on Google as well. And now we will tell serial where Starnet is. Uh, go to preferences, miscellaneous, and software location. As you can see, you have to tell where, where the where the civil uh, our star net is. So in, in case mine, I, I have to go downloads star net and star net plus plus, and that's star net there, and press apply. No mine is already done, so I'm not going to yeah, do it again. So I'm going to show you how to process an image uh, from uh, the latest ones I took. I'm going to process. The cone nebula, called the Christmas tree cluster. Uh, this is a, a stack already. Now, if you want to stack multiple, like multiple nights, you have to go to Deep Sky Stacker first, and uh, put your stacks here, your your pictures, exposures that you took, and then st stack them separately. I have videos uh, regarding this stack to stack, but this video is going to be how to process on serial. Okay, now as you can see, it's very dark. This is the, 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 the data is, is uh, suppressed in linear stage. Linear stage is the data is there, but we need to bring it out. Uh, go down here to linear and press auto stretch. Now, as you can see, it's very blue. Uh, we need to extract the background. Just press the mouse and uh, crop the image. So we can remove these artifacts and the sides. These are stacking artifacts or and the dithering artifacts as well. Go to image processing and background extraction. And we are going to extract the background. Now you, have, you can see, press generate and it will make a lot of boxes uh, remove the boxes from where you, are, you think there is nebulosity in my case the central area I, I can see redness so I'm going to remove nebulosity from here and press complete background ok press apply as you can see the data has come out but uh, as you can see there are lots of stars and it's really taking away from the details that there are there so what we can do now, do it linear again, and we are going to remove uh, the stars with star net. So I'm going to do it again. Go to, you go to image processing, star processing, star net, star removal. Now, because it's not stretched, the image, uh, keep this generate star mask ticked, and uh, do pre-stretch linear image as well. And press execute. Now the image is uh, working. And it's removing the stars and separating the nebula. So now we're going to work on the nebula and work on the stars separately. So we'll come back when it is finished. Okay, it's almost ready you now. Now, just so you know, it, uh, it will save them in pictures. Now, file explorer and pictures. And you have the starless image and the star mask. Okay, now this is the starless image. As you can see, it needs some work still. Uh, press linear and now we're going to work on the nebula uh, go to image processing histogram transformation and now we're going to stretch the image start by stretching this slider and press apply and uh, you have to keep doing this until it looks very bright 
And now we're going to clip the blacks down. So we bring uh, more contrast. And you have to keep doing this until uh, the data is stretched. It won't take long. Now this is an arrow band image, so we're going to stretch the red as well. I will show you in a second. If you're working with a broadband image, it will be different. So you can see the nebula is coming into view. So the data is being pulled out. Okay, now a bit more contrast. Now we're going to pull out a bit the red more. Now this is to your liking. If you like, don't like this much red, it's to your liking. Uh, the main thing is do not go crazy with it because you don't want the whole image to be red. Like this, it seems good to me. And uh, sometimes it's good to bring the farthest right slider because it will bring out the white, the whiteness in the image. As you can see, it makes it pop more. Every image is different. Not, not the, every image is the same. How you stretch it. All right, that, that looks very good, in fact. In fact. Some more contrast. Uh, the contrast is, uh, is your uh, preference, but just be sure that you see this clip here, down here. Uh, do not exceed. 0, 0 0.5 I think or, or 1 I'm not sure but like keep it below 1 in my opinion is best the best I will add some more contrast okay now this looks good now we need to save this uh, go to this one and uh, I'm we're going to save it in the same one that Starnet made star lesson this I'm going to resave it and press replace and the most important part is you have to save it to 32 bit if you save it to another one it won't work just uh, be mindful of that so go to image processing now we're going to recombine the stars uh, go to star processing and star recomposition now we need to tell starnet what is the starless image so press uh, here and uh, press starless this will be the starless image that we saved. Okay. Now, the other one, you have to open the star mask. And as you can see, stars are added now. And you need to stretch the stars to your liking. I like to add a bit of stars, but not much. You, you can go crazy with this, like, like this, but... In my opinion, if you go crazy, won't be that good. Uh, depends on your liking. You can add a bit of black point as well. But black point really, really slowly have to add it because it will clip clip the stars too much. The stars are not perfect. I have some trailing here, but I'm not using guiding, so kind of to be expected. Okay, I'm going to press apply. So the stars I'm going to add, but now if you want to add a bit of... This is generalized hyperbolic stretch in serial, but it's really good. It will bring out uh, the details more. Like crop an image, crop, a, crop a part of the image to the like the central part. Lower the local stretch. And stretch the, star the stretch factor. As you can see it brings... A bit of details out. Press apply. And in this case, I'm going to press close because I'm ready. I'll remove this crop here. Okay. Now I'm going to add a bit of more contrast. Okay. I'm going to flip the image because I like it more this way. Uh, you can add more contrast with a Zen transformation. Like this, but in my opinion, this is too much. I will add just a little bit, like 
like this. It's a fly. And uh, we are ready from sale. So I'm going to save it. Go nebula. Do diff. And I do it 16 bit now. Close this and I'm going to open GIMP. And we are going to do some final touches. Okay. Now the first thing I'm going to do is the, use the clone tool, pain tools, sorry, healing tool. Because I have the amp the glow and some spots on my image that are from dust. Uh, I'm pressing Ctrl and uh, removing these spots. The fix for this is either flats or clean your your optical optical train. But uh, I'm too lazy sometimes to do that, so I do this, and this will heal, like kind of brush it up to make it look decent. And that's all it took, like a couple of spots, and it looks good now. Okay, if you want to, you can add like shadows and uh, more stuff to your image. Go to add a bit of shadows, use the bit of highlights, and uh, I'm going to save it, override the image. And now, as you can see, the image looks good, but it's a bit noisy. As you can see, now you can use Lightroom for noise, but lately I have, I have used Graxpert and it has worked very good for the noise in my images, so I'm going to use it. Uh, Graxpert is free. Well, I have to load the image. Put it here. And uh, when you first use this, you have to download some uh, some the noise so the stuff but uh, I already downloaded them so and uh, I'm going to the noise so the noise this noise I think it needs like 0 0.75 something like that if it's very noisy go to one and press the noise image if your computer is a bit slow this will take some time because uh, with my four gigabyte other laptop it used to take a lot of time but I, I recently got a much faster laptop and it's working much better now. And we will wait like one minute, one minute, something like that it will take to denoise the image. Okay, now Graxpert is ready. As you can see, it uh, did a pretty good job of denoising the image. I really like this and this is the final image. This was only three hours exposure with the SV Bone S220 filter. I really highly recommend that filter. And uh, I'm going to show you the comparison uh, of the final image. And okay, now this is the image before starting it, the auto stretch. And this is the image after. As you can see, it's night and day difference. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe it will help you in your processing. And I will see you in the next video. Clear skies.